Hi there. I'm Joe from Mr. Stiltskin and I've come to show you how to make fibre like this for weaving, making cordage, making uh, rope. I actually want to work towards making a bag with this from yucca leaves. Now this is the yucca leaf. I've already started on here. So as you can see, there's fibre within that. Uh, be careful when you're working with the yucca leaf because the edges are serrated like a saw and it can, can um, cut you if you're not careful. So, one way to remove the fleshy part is to use a spoon and I have here just a um, soup spoon. It has a blunt edge there but it's sharp enough just to pull the fleshy part of the leaf off and reveal the fibres underneath. So you can do that. That's a work all the way through and eventually you get it there. The fibres exposed. See there. You work all the way down the leaf. Now that's one way of doing it. I've uh, figured another way that's uh, just a bit quicker in the process for me. So I've taken my yucca leaves and soaked them, boiled them in um, a pot, uh, just coil them into the pot with some water and boil them for half an hour or so. And I have this which is a it's like a metal comb with sharp teeth but it's used for holding onions to slice them uh, so I've got two of these they're quite sharp little pins on the end of them I just hold the leaf by the tip and work towards the cut part and drag that along several times keep going and slice through that removes some of the fleshy part separates the fibres work up towards the tip but I like to hold the tip as a little handle a useful handy handle get through all the way and I'll flip it round just to do a bit some a bit more Oops, get my finger. Be careful. It's not only the serrated edge of the leaf that can cut you. Once you've done that a few times, you see that it's a bit separated. Still has a um, flesh from the leaf on it. Also use this as a um, pet comb with uh, steel edges, but they're a bit closer together, so I can get a finer. Uh, home with it. You see it's separating some of the chaff off it, which I could just sort of scrape off as I go. Flip that over. I just need my fibre because I'm getting chaff on it. Okay. I'll do that some more. And I'll lift it up so I can drag it through. Once you've done that a few times, you'll see there's still flesh on the leaf. But now, a hammer and just tap it a bit and that helps the flesh to release from the fibres and then I use my final processing tool which is 
just a wire brush these are really quite cheap start from the end and hold on to your little handle and pull it. brush it through if you lift it up a bit at the end and drag it through you get most of that flesh off your leaf and you end up with all of this is removed and you end up with lovely fibrous material ready to make string of wood with. Now you can remove the rest with your fingernails or you can go over with the spoon again. Just quickly with the spoon and get almost all of it off. Both sides. Now after I've got to that stage I'll do the tip and that can be quite quick. Quickly over with the spoon. And there we go, we add that to the bundle. And once it's to that stage I get quite a few of them together. Um, tie them in one or two places and I'll pop them in a bucket of water overnight or even for two days and that will get just the last bits of chaff and flesh off and then you have lovely fibres ready to make your string which I've made a little bit of now that process is more complicated make but uh, yeah on the way to making a string bag well thanks I uh, hope you enjoyed this little process um, let me know what you think bye for now